supposed to have favorites, but I love this lady. I really love this <laughs> Okay, now Carolyn, would you like would you would you like to spin the wheel of Bardic Wheel of Death at this moment? Yes. Oh, spin away, Vanna, <coughs> spin away. Spin like the wind. That's a foul. Wow, it's got brakes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's the Drink it is! All right. I need to tell you that I'm a storyteller, and I tell stories of yeah. historic <laughs> stories, and this one is from the Northwest American Indians. They believe a long time ago, when the world was created, there was water everywhere, too much to drink. And eventually there was land and animals when humans had not been created yet. And the world hadn't been formed. So the animals had a problem. It wasn't the light and the, the, the day and the night weren't synchronized. They might have three days of darkness and then a night. And four days of darkness and one day. And it was confusing. And there were some animals that really liked the dark. The possum and the bear and the owl. And there were others that wanted light. So they had a console. And they decided they'd go ask the sun if it, the sun could shine either, I mean, have a system. So an eagle flew up to the sun and asked the sun if they could be regulated so they kind of know when it's light or dark. And the sun told them to ask the animals what they preferred. So the eagle came down and asked the animals. Well, they had an argument. And you know how animals are. Just like humans, they couldn't agree. Some of the animals were very loud, but particularly the bear said, I like dark. We have to have it dark all the time. And the little robin said, No, my babies need to have light. We need to have a lot of light. So they argued and argued. And finally the son told the eagle when he came back, Have a contest and see what it can be done, day or night. Well, right away, the animals knew would be the champion for night. The bear said, I'll show you what to do. He was bigger than half grown. He was a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> and the little animal, nobody really would go against him. But a little frog said, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> so they went down to the street. There wasn't a whole lot of water, but it, it was fine. And the frog hopped across one side of the water, and the bear was on the other. And right away, the bear started growling, Five days, night, one day, night. And the poor little frog started in, one day, one night, one day, one night. And the bear would growl, Five days, dark, one day, night. And he was screaming his voice. And he kept doing this, screaming, and he reached out and got some water. Uh, Gulped it down. Five days, night! One day, night! And the frog would be on his book. One day, one night, one day, one night. The tiny bear would be on. Five, five days, night! Five days, night! And the frog, one day, one night, one day. One night, the frog seemed to be able to go on forever. But the bear then scooped up the water, and it wasn't too much. He was trying to get more. And finally, his voice was almost like a human laryngitis.